So yesterday we did a video about primers for combination skin and I was like, well, you know what? I told y'all about primers, so now I am going to tell y'all about foundations for my combo skin gals. Dry skin gals and oily skin gals, you are more than welcome to watch the video too. You can learn a couple of tips in it for yourselves. So if that is interesting to you, just keep watching. Hey everybody, how are my glow tarts doing today? I hope everybody's well. For those of you that are new, my name is Mandy and welcome to the video. Alright guys, so yeah, I already know. I look like a chick from the 60s. I've already been told that. I'm going to lie and say that's what I was going for. I think the look is so cute anyways. Alright, alright, enough about that. Now, yesterday I told y'all about primers to use if you got combination skin. We always see stuff for dry skin, oily skin, but us combo skin girls, we're kind of pushed to the back because we can basically use anything. I'm still going to show you the foundations that work best for me, the ones that I get a more better finish, a more flawless finish, a soft focus finish, whatever finish you like that's what we can get with these foundations and i'm about to show you the ones that do that now of course you know foundations are used to cover up redness discoloration your bumps and basically all our little mistakes on our face i have a little bit tougher time because i do have a birthmark on my left eye and it is a very dark brown birthmark it took me years to figure out how to cover it because just foundation wasn't doing it so I, I do have to go through color correcting it and all, all that good jazz, but y'all don't care about that. And I do have a video about it if y'all want to see it. But I will link the primer video that I done yesterday. I will link that down below. So make sure you go check that out. There's a long list of, there's hydrating foundations or mattifying foundations. A lot of times what I love to do is to mix a mattifying foundation and a hydrating foundation and mix them together beautiful beautiful and i have got two of them here that i always mix and i love them now first of all i do love my full coverage foundations a lot of people match theirs differently some people will match their foundation to their face some people will match their foundation to their neck a lot of people will use a darker foundation just because they want to look darker i match my foundation to my neck so let's go ahead and jump in. I'm about to show you some of the foundations that I love the best, that work best on my combination skin. But first, I want to show you something that I have been using with my foundations, and I have fallen in love with it. I absolutely love, and I don't know why I'm late getting on the train to this one. Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Guys, I don't know why I'm so late getting these, but I absolutely love these little drops. Now, mine is in shade G30. I'm not sure what that stands for, but they come, it's a little dropper. Use the drops to put this into your foundation and you not only change the tint of your foundation, you could change the coverages of your foundations. You could take a foundation that has absolutely hardly no coverage at all, just a skin tint, and add four drops of this and it is a full coverage foundation. I absolutely love these drops. If you don't have them, you need to check it out, especially for girls that love their full coverage foundations. This will turn a full foundation into a filter. All right, guys, now to get started. And first, I am going to tell y'all I did get into a fight with my bronzer, so my hands, my fingers are orange, so just don't look at my hands. I said, don't look. I seen you looking. And another thing, some of my foundation bottles are a little janky because they're a little used and they're a little overused. So don't be laughing at that either. All right, now the first one is Revlon. This is the Age Defined Revlon. Now I absolutely love this foundation. This has been out for years. Now this works best. It does not set on my fine lines. It doesn't do none of that. This is a very beautiful foundation and, and it does give you a soft focus finish. It is just so beautiful. It's almost like matte and hydrating come together in a beautiful ceremony and made your face look like perfection. The next one, guys, I cannot quit raving on. I've done a video about this all by its lonesome. And I'm also going to link that video down below. And you're not going to believe it. It is LA Colors. This is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing Foundation. Now, guys, when I got this, I was not expecting much. Now, they do also make another one in hydrating. I hate that foundation. It is one of the worst foundations I've ever used. So, 
I'm not sure what they've done to that formula that made it so shitty, but it, it's crap. It's complete crap. But this one leaves the most beautiful finish that I've ever seen a foundation. It, it's, it's more than a filter. I mean, I don't know how to explain it. And guys, this was, I think, $4. Now, I've got mine in shade soft beige, and it is just a tad bit too light for me. But after bronzing and all of that good stuff, you don't even notice it. But the finish of this is just unexplainable. I just don't know how to explain it. It's so beautiful. And it's not completely matte. There is a little bit of luminosity to this that just makes it the perfect foundation. Now the next one, and I've been using this ever since it came out. I think it was a couple of years ago. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the matte and poreless one. Poreless one. Now everybody seems to like the hydrating one. The hydrating one just doesn't really do anything for me. Not as much as this matte one does. And again, this is not completely matte. It's, I'm going to say a soft matte. But this also leaves such a beautiful, flawless finish. This is so easy to blend out. Now, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I never even told y'all. The way I apply my foundation, I apply it with a brush first. And then I'll take my beauty blender and I will blend it out. Now, some of these foundations work best just with a blender. Some of them work best just with a brush. Now, this one I do use with a beauty blender. I, see, I feel like more full coverage. Coverage? A more full coverage look with it. And this covers every mistake you've ever done in your life. Now, for another full coverage foundation that will cover all the wrongs in your life, the L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage. Now, this is the matte formula. This is also 24-hour long wear. 24-hour long wear. Now, I don't agree with that. Now, it does last a while. I will. I have worn this up to nine hours, and it did last then, but it started getting splotchy and coming off like any foundation would do. So, they, they kind of stretched it. They kind of kind of told a little lie when they put 24 hours on that. L'Oreal. The foundation itself is beautiful and it is very full coverage. And like when I added drops to that, it, it was like I put a filter, a Snapchat filter on my face. And my face was like totally blurred out. It was just, it looked almost too blurred out, if that makes any sense. But it is a beautiful foundation. Now, here's what I like to do with this. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is an awesome foundation by itself. Both of these are awesome by themselves, but when I mix them together, it leaves a beautiful finish. The finish is like a soft matte finish, but with a hint of glow. Like it, it glows when it's on your face. Now, again, using this one by itself is awesome enough. I'll go ahead and put this one away because I'm still talking about it. So we'll start talking about this. Now, this is also very full coverage. This covers up everything on your face, discoloration, bumps, all that good stuff. And this almost, almost covers my birthmark. Almost. Without color correcting. That's what I love about this. But using this by itself, it does have a very glowy finish to it. But it still has a soft matte undertone, so I do love it. The next one, this is an all-time favorite. People, please don't make fun of my bottle because I know it looks awful. This is another L'Oreal product. L'Oreal just kills it on their foundations, let me tell you. Now, this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now, if you could tell my bottle is worn out and I'm almost out of it, this is one of six bottles, I think, that I have of this. This is a classic, but it has been one of my all-time favorites forever. It's just It just gives you such a beautiful finish. Now, I'm not going to say this is 100% full coverage, but again, if you add something like the Cover FX, custom drops, full coverage. But other than that, I'm going to say it's a medium to a full coverage foundation, but it is still beautiful and it still leaves your skin. It's almost like a second skin when you put this on. Now the next one, again, people don't make fun of me. I done lost my lid. done lost my mind. So I put tape on it thinking that's going to do something. Now this is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. I love the cons consistency of this. I love a good mousse foundation, but they are very hard to make and they are very hard to find one that actually works. Now, this is my cat, I think. 
This is so beautiful. And guys, if y'all hear a cat scratching in the background, I'm so sorry. I don't have them trained to stop scratching when I'm filming. Okay, anyways, I love this foundation and it is just a beautiful moussey texture. And this is definitely, I would say, medium to full coverage. It's just beautiful. I love it and I love the finish that it leaves. It's almost like a velvety finish that it leaves over your face and I just love it, guys. I love it. And I do need to pick up another bottle because the without the lid being on it, I'm scared it's going to go bad, but I still use it, baby. I still use it. Now, the next thing is a powder foundation, and I don't like a lot of powder foundations, but this is the Jane Iredell. Now, this, now this is a mineral powder foundation. You don't have to wear another foundation with it or anything. You can wear this just by itself. Now, this is going to be a light to a medium coverage. And, of course, it being a powder, I'm going to try. Oh, my gosh. Tell me down below if you want to see that video. If I can add the drops to this to make it full coverage, that would be a cool video. Anyways, back to it. Now, the way I apply this is I will take my brush and I will really buff this baby out. I will buff it in and it leaves you with a very beautiful finish. It's not too powdery. It's, if you'll use your setting spray after this, it, it's just a really beautiful finish and it's like a second skin. I know I've already said that, but it is. It's almost like your skin, but better. Now, guys, this is the last one, and this is an all-time favorite of mine, too. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Guys, I love this, and again, I'm running out, running low, and starting to freak out. Matter of fact, the way I use this is I have to take this out. Yeah, yeah, I'm down to that. So, I do have to order another one, and I have to get it here ASAP. ASAP. This is totally full coverage. I don't need the drops with this. This is full coverage. This will definitely cover up my birthmark. No problems, no questions asked. And not only that, but people have been using this for concealer also. But it is just a beautiful foundation. And this actually lasts a really long time. I've wore this for a while. I've wore this all day long with no problems, no creasing. Except for, you know, if I get out in the sun, start sweating, of course, it's going to start looking blotchy and looking all weird and stuff but other than that i think this is a very beautiful foundation and again i love my full coverage gals anyways guys that is it for this video i hope y'all enjoyed it and i hope y'all enjoy these videos where I'm, where i'm doing videos for certain skin types because i don't think there's enough videos out there for that and you assume that everybody could use the same thing and that's not just not the case so I hope this helps out, guys. So if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Become part of the Glow Talk family. We would love to have you. And I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you next video. Bye, guys. 60s. Yes. 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 Oh, wait. You don't walk on in the 60s.